fam, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Right now I'm doing a little bit of a moving across the country series. I believe this is part like five or something. I don't know. Check the playlist. Editing Sid here already in Utah. Wanted to hop in and say, I don't know why my camera focus is struggling so hard. I'm sorry about that. I will fix that. Second of all, we actually just dropped our Halloween merch, our spooky merch. Um, it's adorable. Here's a picture. I'm obsessed. Uh, so if you guys want to go check that out, the link is always in the description and that'd be an awesome way to help support us. And okay, continue with today's video. And if you don't know what's going on, me and my husband have decided to move from Missouri to Utah. We leave on Wednesday, today's Monday. We just got the moving truck. We're gonna load it up, spend all day tomorrow kind of hanging out with everyone. And then we drive out on Wednesday, 18 hour drive. Gonna be crazy, but I'm excited for this new chapter in our life. So let's get started with this very long vlog. <laughs> because we did that so fast. But we got step one done, the truck is completely packed. We've just got like cleaning supplies out and I'm about to deep clean the whole house for our renters. Okay, I'm like 90% done cleaning. We're gonna end for the day and try to relax and go hang out with family. T minus one day until we move. Today is our last day here in Missouri. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, whenever we said we were gonna move October 1st, it happened way too fast. Yeah. <laughs> so today I need to go get, I'm getting my blonde side, the roots touched up, because if we don't end up coming back for Halloween and then we come back at Christmas, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna have my cousin go touch him up. But we have to go finish cleaning up our house. We're gonna try to get done like somewhat earlier today so that we can spend the rest of the day just hanging out. I literally forgot to vlog while I was in there, but shout out to your niece, she fixed my roots. Okay, some of the brown is over on the blonde side because I can't do it. I can't keep it all on one side. So today is literally our last day in this house. Um, this is everything that's left. Just like a couple of things that just need to be packed. It's so crazy, it's happening so fast. Um, I do need to pack everything in the fridge. Okay, we're done. The truck is completely loaded. I wanna show you guys the final product because at the end we were just kind of throwing stuff in. So here's what it looks like. Wow, it is packed. We got the motorcycle in there. We got our washer and dryers. And it is like back there stacked to the ceiling, all our rugs. <laughs> what? Where did that come from? That random box. <laughs> it's gonna look great on the highway. Yeah, we should leave it. That'd be great. And other than my few things, my taquitos, Red Bull, and shoes, <laughs> um, it's empty. Do you guys remember when I bought this house and I took a cute pic on this, like, and then I was like, I bought a house at 18, and now I'm moving out. But it's okay, because we're keeping it, we're not selling it. All right, empty house tour. Here's where Dallin's studio was. Here's where my studio was. The renter said she's not gonna paint this wall back, so that's amazing. Here's our room. Oh, let me see our empty bathroom. Oh my gosh. So weird. <laughs> empty laundry room. Okay, that's, that's it. Goodbye house. Our first house. A year and like two months. Treated us well. I, I still own it actually, so it's fine. But let's move. Good morning. It is 4 a.m. I'm so tired. Ready for an 18 hour drive. Hi guys, welcome to our road trip. So I've been driving for like an hour and a half or so and the cats have been meowing the entire time. We've tried everything and they will not chill. Like we've tried putting them in their carriers, we've tried wrapping them in blankets, jackets, well not me, Dallas, I'm driving. 
and they won't shut up. And we looked it up and people were like, they meow for like an hour. It's been more than an hour. <laughs> it's mentally exhausting me, so I'm literally about to have to take a break from driving and have Dallas drive, because it's like, are they okay? So we're accidentally rolled the window down and I thought had a panic attack because I thought she flew out the window. <laughs> But now I locked them, so we're good. Okay, little update because I haven't touched my camera. Um, we are a little over halfway. We have like nine hours left. I've been driving for a while. Dal was driving the truck. We've all kind of took turns. Cats are being good now. Just got some food. Gonna keep driving. made it to Utah. It is Thursday, October 1st, our official move-in day to our new condo. We're about to go meet our landlord, get our keys and all that. Um, we stayed the night at my cousin's house last night. All right, we just got the keys to our place. We're officially tenants here. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna do an empty apartment tour, but that'll be a separate video. So stay tuned. It'll probably be the next one I post, honestly, because I have nothing else to post. But here's a quick preview. Okay, we came back before we go get the truck, and Dallas Snowy made us breakfast. Yeah. Now it is officially time to go move. We're gonna leave the cats here so they're not like in the way. We're gonna go move the truck and move all our stuff in. First time parking our car in the garage. So we got the bed almost all the way in, except the door right here. It's not gonna make it in. So we're gonna have to take the headboard off. All right, we went and got the cats. This is your new home. You make yourself feel at home. They're like, ooh, explore time. All right, the next and probably last thing that we have to do to move in is I'm gonna go buy a couch. There's a couch everyone buy. It's so cute. And we're gonna go pick it up while we still have the moving truck. Look how big the windows are in our studio. It's amazing. Guys, best part of the whole house. A linen closet! We got two blankets. I'm gonna put towels and extra pillows. I'm so excited. Since I rode in the Honda all the way out here, this is so weird. We're like so far away from each other. Hi! Hello. An arm's length away. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, it's really loud, so hold on. So me and Sandy just slaved away while Dallin took a nap and got like everything put in the room it needs to go in. But look how cute this couch is. Like, are you kidding me? It's like a suede material. It's super soft, it's perfect. Ace is exploring and it's just so cute. Okay, it's a mess right now, but we kind of got our clothes put up and we put together our room somewhat. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm out of the shower now and it's also the next day. So today's Friday, I'm about to go take my mother-in-law to the airport because she drove out with us, she's gonna go fly home. But before I do, I thought I would end this vlog by telling you guys some of my favorite things about this condo and then wrap it up. Hey, showers are a huge thing to me because I've had crappy showers before. This shower has like shelving down there, shelving up there, shelving everywhere, and it has really good lighting because there's literally a window. I also fully appreciate that there is an actual door just to the toilet and shower so the shower can get hot and steamy. And then of course, I love the closet. The closet is huge. The best thing out of all the things in this place is the lighting is amazing. Like there are huge windows in every room and here we have three windows. Our master bedroom gets so much light and our house back at home, it got like no light. Oh, there's a little husky. And then also there's a little like entryway into the master and it just makes it feel so like separated from the house. Like this is our room. That's the house rather than just another room. And then you guys know I've talked about the linen closet a million times. Also the laundry room has so much storage. So I love how much storage is in this place. And then each of the studios have giant windows. I wanna show you guys my studio real quick and then I'll be done. So it's not done yet, but this is kind of what I have so far. I just love 
the huge window in here. It makes such a big difference in the tall ceilings and making it feel big. Right now I have just like the decor from my other studio, which I love, but I'm thinking about getting a little day bed right here with a trundle. So whenever like my brothers come to visit or anyone comes to visit, there's two beds. Now we have no guest bed, which was fine in Missouri because there were so many people, but here it's like, where are the people that they're coming to visit so we need beds. <laughs> so that's just a little, my favorites of my condo. If you guys want to see a full empty condo tour because I didn't really show it all in this, then that'll be my next video, so make sure you have post notifications on and you're subscribed. Um, yeah, so we just moved by the mountains. We're gonna be doing lots of fun stuff. So if you're not already subscribed and you love adventuring and vlogs and lifestyle stuff in the mountains, then subscribe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.